The break line command allows us to enhance our surface and provide more detail to it. Now, we use the contours to build this surface. In a lot of cases, the contours aren't enough information to really define what the intent is of our design. So we have to enhance this for proper machine guidance uh, models or you know stakeout. And you can see here in the 3D view of the triangulation is that it's not really triangulating through this area properly. You can see this leg here is extending over to that point over there and it's not picking up this data. We know we didn't use this data to build the surface, but what we can do is enhance this with a break line. Now we can just draw a simple line string from the CAD tab and or polyline, but you know our line string would be a 3D polyline or a 3D line. We can add that to the surface. Now that would be a two-step process versus just using the break line command. With the break line command, you're gonna draw the object as well as add it to the surface at the same time. So what I can do here is you provide it with a name that I'm creating. So maybe this is pond break line. Um, I can put it on a layer and then I can you know, control the surface sharpness. Now this is important if you're gonna add textures and you wanna see the shading. It doesn't really affect the way that software triangulates. It's just more of you know, how it's shaded. And then we're gonna choose what surface we wanna add it to. Once you have those properties defined, you click OK, and you'll see that it actually just goes in and starts the edit line string command. So I'm gonna start putting in a coordinate and an elevation. Now I'm gonna use this information down here, so I'm gonna zoom in to my 3D view. I could snap to the 2D view, but the problem with the 2D view is I don't know what elevation it's gonna pick up because of these are stacked on top of one another. So in the 3D view, it gives me the ability to just kind of grab that corner and it starts that first point. And you can see that it actually does change the triangulation because the surface is automatically set. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pick you know, this point here. And then um, I can come over and grab that next uh, contour line, right? Because I want, if I don't, if I just go to this one, it might throw a flag here. I know it's gonna throw a flag down here, but we can fix that later. So I'm just gonna pick this point here in 3D and it's gonna grab that. And this is where I was talking about that flag because that contour line is cutting through there. So we can go back and edit this and add in a, a new uh, point there uh, later and fix that. Right now we'll just continue drawing and fix it later. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna grab this point here and I'm gonna grab this one. You can see it automatically triangulated and it's following that line. So as I draw in you know, the rest of these lines and these objects, I'm getting better triangulation in this area so like up in here we'll do the same thing you can see that it's triangulating out versus following this guideline here so i want to you know match these sections and really properly define this surface so i would just continue doing this up the road here and adding in you know these additional break lines to define my surface properly so i'm just going to click that one and i'm going to click this one and i'm just going to keep working my way up so it's adding this line string as a break line as well as drawing that line string at the same time. 